What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. The day has finally arrived to take delivery on my 2021 Tesla Model S Long Range. I'm gonna take you through the whole day. It's gonna be a long day of driving, but totally worth it in the end. So let's get to it. Let's go get that Tesla Model S. All right, so it's very early in the morning. It's 6.20 in the morning and it is time to leave. So basically the way that today's going to work is because of COVID and the fact that the closest pickups point is New Jersey, I'm actually gonna be renting a car uh, to drive down to New Jersey, taking a quick Uber from the drop off place to the Tesla dealership and then picking up my Tesla and driving it all the way back. It's gonna be about nine hours of driving total, but the way down will be exciting and obviously the way back will be great as well. And we'll do a whole uh, kind of look around the first look around the car when we pick it up later at around one o'clock. So let's head off to the airport here in Portland to grab my rental car and head down to New Jersey. We got our rental car all set to go. This is our hog for the next few hours. It's actually the second of three cars I'm gonna to drive today. This one will be a little bit longer drive than the first one, so let's uh, head down to New Jersey. So here I am, Paramus, New Jersey, at a Shell station with a rental car, just going to fill it up, and just realized this is the last time, probably, I'm ever going to use a gas station. That's crazy to think, but here we are. One more fill up. The Tesla dealership is like literally a block down. Gotta go return the rental car, get a quick Uber, and we'll be there. Exciting. All right, rental car is all set to go, all checked in. Now just waiting for the Uber. It's like a five minute drive. I already drove by the Tesla dealership once, so I'm just waiting for the Uber. It'll be a quick ride, and then we'll start the uh, check-in process to get the new car. Let's go. All right, here I am at Tesla, and they tell me to do the QR code right here on this wall. That's the way you check in. Let's uh, do this check-in part. First part of this, uh, it's pretty cool here. All right, so I checked in online and now I guess they just contact me and basically they sh they unlock the car remotely and then I go there, there's a paperwork in the car to fill out. I don't have a trade-in, I've already paid uh, off everything so it should be pretty fast and then I bring it to this little drop box, they come and pick it up and then they basically text you or call you when you can drive off the lot. Up until this point, totally contactless, which is pretty cool. But it's also really cool to see so many Teslas here. I've never seen so many in one spot. All right, well, I'm all checked in online, and basically what happens is now I go to the car, they remotely unlock it, and I fill out all the paperwork from there, so let's go check it out. You talk dirty to me. We're in the car. Holy crap, this thing is so sweet. Uh, basically, so they called me. Uh, I, the doors opened automatically as I got close to it. It was unlocked. They just went through some of the basics uh, of the Tesla. Um, there's a ton of different options and stuff, but you just want to let me know like how to turn the volume up, how to connect my phone. That's the first thing we do is connect my phone. Kind of introduce the screen a little bit, but that's pretty much it. They don't do a too much tutorial, which is kind of fine because I've done so much on my own. Looks like I just fill out this quick form and I'll drop this off in the Dropbox and then they take a look and they can get the heck out of here. All right, so the process to pick up the car was super, super easy. I'll do a whole recap at the end of this. Uh, but basically, it was about 15 minutes. Uh, it definitely was easy. I did not have a trade-in. I didn't have uh, any checks to give or anything. Basically, you know, I got in the car. And they called me after about 10 minutes after I put in my paperwork into the lockbox or drop box. They basically called me and said, hey, you're good to go. And uh, off I went. It's been an amazing, amazing drive so far. Still a lot to learn about the car, and I'm going to do a whole review about it 
here in the next few days. Uh, but I am stopping at a supercharging station, as you can see. First time, I'll do a whole thing about charging as well, but supercharger's going. It's about a 400 mile uh, trip, and this is about a 400 mile range, though obviously, as you've probably seen, uh, you know, you test out the acceleration a little bit more on your first trip than you usually would, so uh, it used a lot more battery and, and more range uh, quickly. So anyway, it's gonna finish up the supercharge in about 15, 20 minutes, and then head on back home, and, uh, and we'll do a little recap here of the whole, the whole process of the day. All right, so we are back home. It's day one fully of having the car, as you can see. You saw from my first video that, you know, it was uh, an empty garage. Now, obviously, it's here. So, just to recap uh, the whole process. So, first of all, it was super simple. If you have a trade-in or if you have to give checks or anything or figure out your bank loan, it probably would be a little longer of a process on delivery day. But for me, uh, it was super quick, super easy. The only thing, it's it's you miss a little bit of the uh, experience with the COVID stuff. There's not much it can do, but you don't... Uh, I've seen videos in the past of they make a really big deal of it. You get to go inside, you get congratulated by a salesperson or somebody else. With this, I didn't really see anybody, which is, is a good thing in some ways, but other ways it would have been really cool you know buying such a cool car to have that experience but in general it was really quick and easy the only thing was I would say is when I did call the you know when I had the conversation with uh, the, the person who was kind of going through the car I mean he could have been a little bit more excited that's just a little little criticism there uh, just kind of felt like a normal car because this is like a once-in-a-lifetime car but in general I would say the Tesla process ordering process and delivery process was great a little inconvenient that I had to drive you know 350 miles each way to get it but it was better than doing the third-party service delivery I guess because there was no no worries that the car was not going to be in perfect condition. So in the next few days, I'll do a full kind of review of the car. I'll also do a video on charging, but thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more. And in the meantime, I'll be enjoying my Tesla Model S long range. We'll check you guys later.